morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. Uh, yesterday we had seen that uh, US as well as uh, European indices were tra trading flat to negative uh, ahead of the all important non-farm payrolls data uh, which is likely to be announced in US today. So uh, and Asian markets, uh, coming over to Asian markets, Asian markets are also trading uh, flat to negative. Uh, we have Hang Seng around down around 1% whereas Nikkei is around 0.7% down. Uh, uh, this all is uh, nervousness ahead of the non-farm payrolls data which is in uh, US today and it is likely to be coming in week uh, as we had seen that the ADP employment numbers which were announced on Wednesday uh, were a bit negative. So markets are uh, keeping its fingers crossed ahead of uh, this uh, today's uh, all important non-farm payrolls. And uh, coming over to the Indian markets, Indian markets had seen uh, wild swings yesterday. We had seen some positives and uh, markets were uh, had bounced from its three weeks low but uh, could not uh, hold on to the gains and uh, had paired off the gains and closed around 20-25 points out, out, uh, up. And uh, we are uh, tracking the Asian markets which are currently trading negative. Uh, SGX is also just suggesting that we are li likely to open uh, around 40 points down. So uh, I'll hand it over to my derivative expert for our derivative comments. Good morning friends, I'll give analysis on derivatives. Uh, yesterday's market uh, taking uh, mixed use from the international markets, our market did open on a, on, on a positive note. Unlike, uh, unlike with another tr uh, international uh, markets where market did uh, open on a uh, negative, our market uh, was, uh, was outperforming and op opened with a positive note and thereon we did saw Nifty. Uh, continue, uh, continued its upward momentum uh, and, uh, and and made new intraday high at regular intervals and eventually gave a closing uh, uh, at 7773.10 with a gain of around half a percentage. On the open interest terms, uh, yet another trading session where we have seen a uh, reduction of open interest that is at around 4.5% which was shattered in open interest. In the absolute terms around 9.20 uh, lakh shares were shattered in open interest. Cost of carry increased significantly from 5.5% to 8.5% that is Nifty premium did came up significantly from anywhere around 20, uh, 25 26 odd points uh, to currently 38 39 odd points. Uh, put call ratio was more or less same at 0 0.82 odd levels and volatility index uh, cooled off uh, a bit, um, it cooled off by, uh, by around uh, one and a half odd percentage from 17.45 to 17.17 odd levels. And the options activity, uh, we are being now seeing some kind of an uh, reduced, inter uh, uh, reduced uh, interest in the uh, call option that is there are not a lot of uh, open interest getting built up in call option uh, which is a positive sign where market participants are not uh, now not uh, shorting, uh, shorting call options of the higher levels. 7,800 call option uh, have seen an addition of around 7.5% as the highest addition was seen in 7,900 call option of around 18 odd percentage while 8,000 call option have seen a reduction in open interest of around 3.5 odd percentage. While input option uh, again not much of activity so on along the options uh, we, are, uh, uh, we haven't seen much of the activity in yesterday's trading session. Uh, put option uh, the highest put base of uh, 7,700 strike price continues to add. Uh, in terms of open interest of around 7, 7 and a half odd percentage due to which market did took uh, support around that level and continuously it's higher in yesterday's trade. While 7,800 strike price have seen a reduction of 2 percentage while 7,600 put option have seen an addition of 9 percentage only. All in all in today's trading session also the, our main focus would be on the activity of 7,700 put option. In yesterday's trading session uh, as, as mentioned yesterday that if we see a continuous addition in 7,700 strike price I expect Nifty to take support around this level and can see a recovery in the, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the coming trading sessions. However, in today's trading session also since we have been about to open on a, uh, on a negative note around 30-40 points lower as ZX Nifty is pointing out and we can uh, see an opening anywhere around 7730-40 odd level. So again around 7700 if uh, we see a continuous addition 7700 expect Nifty to take support around that level. However, if we see any kind of an unwinding in today's trading session session then it would be a negative sign and we might see nifty reaching 7700 on the lower side and can see a uh, further pain in the market so activity of 7700 put option would be quite uh, would be in focus in the, for the next few trading sessions uh, there are no securities in bank period for today's trade on fis terms they continue to be net sellers in index futures However, that selling part has been coming mainly due to the long unwinding. They are not forming any kind of in short positions as of now. In index futures, they were net sellers by 993 or crores. 
and the open interest of uh, FIS did went up by around uh, did went down by around three to four odd percentage. Index options net bias by 1,007 odd crores. Uh, stock futures net bias by 102 odd crores. By uh, stock options net sellers by 23 crores only. On uh, the market level of IDs, we have stands now at 7,800 uh, with a lower range at 7,700, which is the highest put base and high range at 7,800. SDX simply is trading negative, it's down by 43 odd points and it's quoting anywhere around 7723 indicating some kind of a negative to gap down opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives, thank you. Now let's look at some of the trading ideas for the day. The first idea is Bharti Airtel. Uh, Bharti Airtel is planning to sell its telecom towers in Congo to uh, uh, Helios Towers in Africa. So, action to be taken is Long Bharti, current market price is 354 with a stop loss of 349 for a target of 365 and 370. The next trading idea is ILFS Transport. ILFS Transport is set to make its debut in REITs and it is planning to list, it, list its uh, commercial properties uh, going ahead. So, this is a, a very positive news for ILFS Transport and action to be taken is Long ILFS. Uh, current market price is 74.25 uh, with a stop loss of 73 for a target of 76 and 77. Now let's look at some of the news updates. Uh, Godrej Consumer completes its acquisition of 75% stake in a Kenyan company that is Kenon Chemicals. Symphony has filed for global patents for its uh, uh, wall mounted air coolers. This is a positive news for uh, Symphony. SEBI has said no to futures trading in the newly com uh, introduced commodities uh, segment. Singapore Arbitral Court has uh, imposed fine of around $400 million uh, uh, on uh, former Redbaxi promoters for uh, concealing facts from Daichi. On the other news, government uh, has cleared Infosys proposal to set up uh, SEZ in Bangalore. Lok Sabha has passed the, the all important bankruptcy bill, so banks are likely to be in focus today. Syndicate Bank has allotted 9.5 crore equity shares uh, on a preferential basis to the government at a price of around 77.79. And NTPC has raised around 1000 crores uh, via issue of secured uh, NCDs. The other news uh, LND, uh, the, the promoters of LND General Insurance are in talks. Uh, for a merger with HDFC Ergo. One Alliance Insurance has selected Majesco as its uh, strategic uh, enterprise plat platform. Indian Hotels has uh, agreed for a scheme of arrangement in uh, with uh, lands and properties uh, uh, that has been approved. Wipro gets order from Thames uh, Water for billing and customer solutions. So Wipro is likely to be in focus today. And on the results update, we have Imami reporting its Q4 numbers. Consolidated net profit was down around 45% uh, at around 75.9 crore uh, and versus 138.3 uh, uh, crores YOI. Castro reported part of around 172 crores uh, versus 147 crores last year ago. Goodrich property uh, announced its Q4 pad numbers which came in at 17.9 crores versus 51 crores a year ago. And Hero Motor Corp announced its Q4 numbers which came in in line with uh, estimates also. Uh, it came in at 814 crores uh, ahead of, uh, versus 632 crores uh, YOI. On the all important news today, we have Greaves Cotton pad expectation is around 44 crores. We have Titan coming out with its numbers. Uh, the pad expectation is around 189 crores. And Siemens is likely to announce numbers today with a pad expectation of around 707.7 crores. Uh, we have Vocat and uh, Spark uh, which are also no announcing its numbers. The bad estimates are not available. On the watch list front, stocks with positive bias are Mata, SRF and Castrol. And stocks with negative bias, uh, we think uh, Hexaware could be in under pressure today. On the stocks for investment, uh, we like Axis Bank, Britannia, MEEL, Infosys and Torrent Pharma. That's it friends from all of us. Thanks and have a nice trading session.